Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com and this is another FL Studio tutorial. Okay, um, basically in this video what I want to do is show you how to layer drums to create a more la uh, more full drum sound, um, which I mentioned in the uh, Dubstep 101 video. But the thing is that doing that every time you want to record a new Dubstep song can get um, annoying or time consuming. And two, on top of it, um, when you're laying several different things on top of each other, after a while it starts eating up a lot of your CPU, and especially if you're doing this sort of on your general laptop, it can start uh, causing some latency issues. So a useful thing to do is to pre-layer your, drum your drums and sample them. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to create the drums, and then I'll show you how you sample them from Edison. Okay? So that way you can, instead of re-layering them every time, you just have a sample that you can just use. So again, I'll use generally the kicks that come with FL Studio just to kind of illustrate the point. So let's go to backs, drums, kicks. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. OK. So see how that sounds. Yeah, that's a nice uh, sound. Cool. So we're going to EQ that. So let's send each one to channel one. OK, cool. All four of them are going to mixer one. I don't think I need any bass boost on this one. Let's go to the parametric EQ. Okay, that's kind of nice. Let's use some compressor. So we will use. Why not? We'll use the fruity compressor. Well, we won't use that one. I'm looking. And again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using the presets. You can kind of play around and get the sound just right, but it's just to kind of illustrate the point. So once you get your sound, what you do is you're going to open up Edison on that mixer channel. So you can go to each of these mixer channels and put effects, but since we have it in insert one, we will put Edison on channel one. Then you just hit record. Okay, so now you got the sample. And we just isolate it. Try to make sure there's like nothing. Make sure it's right where it starts. Okay, that works. So when you do is right click it, hit edit trim so that was that's that's all there is to the whole clip and then we'll save sample as libraries I'll save it under my presets and stuff layered drums layered kick one so now I have that already EQ'd all sort of all set up kick in my stuff, so I just refresh, and there it is. So 
So that way it only has to I only have to add one so instead of having all these different kicks I could just make this kick number one. Oh that's right, so let me take it off channel one there. So if I were to mute the other channels. And if you do that for each instrument or each drum piece, so that, you, so that way you have, you know, a snare, a drum that just sort of sounds exactly the way you want it, um, you save yourself a lot of time in future uh, productions because you'll have your drum kit all ready to go. Okay, and the same thing can go for like synth lines and bass lines. Um, so basically, you have a lot of effects, and you're using a lot of different things on a small bass line. It may not be a bad idea to sample it with all the effects on there, so that way you can load it up as a sample instead of it having processed real time with all the effects, um, helping reduce your CPU usage, so that way you don't get all the lag while you're trying to produce the track. So, my name is Alex Merced. Have a great day and enjoy. And this kick, among other kicks that I will make after this, um, will be available over there at alexmerced.com in the free presets and samples section. Um, check it out so you can download what we got so far. And my name is Alex Merced. Have a great day and enjoy.